So I'm going to start out by discussing what is a confounder. So a confounder is some kind of outside factor that has an independent relationship with the exposure and a separate relationship with the outcome. So that if you don't correct for it, it makes it look like there's an actual relationship between the exposure and outcome that's not really there. So I'll give an example of this. And the example is obesity and stroke. So you find a study that says, that shows that increased obesity causes an increase in stroke. But there's something called age. And with increased age, there's increased obesity. And with increased age, there's an increased incidence of stroke. And if you stratify the study by age, the effect of obesity on stroke is diminished in the results. So now on to what is an effect modifier. It is something that has a relationship only with the outcome. So So outcome, so it only has a relationship with the outcome. So for example, and it's always going to be something present in the cells or in the tissues or organs. And so let's, a good example is the DNA structure of someone. So say somebody takes a drug and it's an anti-cancer drug. And you happen to have particular cancer that has a high rate of cell replication because of that change in your DNA. And it also does something to the drug. It could, I don't know, phosphorylate it or whatever. That's going to affect how the drug behaves on your cells. Now, they're not, they might not say somebody has a change in their DNA and it affects the cells. They might say that there's a family history of the cancer and having the family history of a certain gene. So that is effect modifier. So the basic difference between confounder and effect modifier is that a confounder affects both the exposure and the outcome whereas effect modifier only affects the outcome. Also, for the most part, a confounding factor is an outside extraneous factor or habit, whereas effect modifier is something in your cells or tissues.